A delegation from Mexico were in Washington today hoping to avert new tariffs that are scheduled to go into effect next week. Kayla Tausche is at the White House for us tonight. Good evening, Kayla. And what does the administration want in these negotiations? Well, the White House, Sue, has left the negotiations open and the demands open. They said that they want Mexico to substantially stop the flow of migrants and drugs into the United States, but they haven't exactly said what the number is that they want. They want Mexico to reinforce its border with Guatemala, and they also want Mexico to consider a proposal to become a, a safe third country. That means that Mexico would have to accept all asylum seekers coming through from Central America instead of the United States, but Mexico so far has called that last one a red line. What, is, what are the Mexicans offering? I mean, they came with a list of their own of demands and offers. You get a sense of what they are? Well, we mentioned that they are not willing to accept the U.S. proposal to accept Central American refugees. That being said, they are, according to Reuters, proposing a sort of Marshall Plan for the rebuilding of Central America. They also are planning to propose uh, a diversion of some funds, a reprogramming of funds from a State Department program from 2008 that was to combat drug and human trafficking. And we'll see exactly what the White House says about where those proposals stand right now. So do you have a sense of how likely it is that we will get a deal? Well, I think, Sue, for today, the prospect of a deal is low. We know the president likes to make his own deals. And not only is he traveling overseas this week, but many key members of his immigration policy team, Jared mm -hmm. Kushner, Stephen Miller, John Bolton, the national security advisor, all of those officials are abroad with the president. He has a high-level delegation negotiating on his behalf, but it's expected that the president will want to do this deal himself. We will be watching. Thank you, Kayla.